this 26 Sports and CCTV High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Welcome back everybody to Cadillac High School. We are moments away from uh, starting lineups and national anthem. I'm Dan Gussard and with me tonight I have Jason Main again. Good to have you back, Jason. Yeah, it's good to be here. We got the boys game tonight. And, uh, a tough battle tonight. Uh, got Petoskey leading the Big North Conference without a loss, six and zero in the conference play, and just one loss overall <coughs> coming in. And the Vikings with two conference losses, Jason, pretty much a, a big must win for the Vikings. Yep, they uh, they beat them tonight. They are right back in the hunt of the Big North, and uh, we're about part way through the season. Um, teams are starting to look look at districts a little bit but you know Cadillac, Traverse City, Petoskey and uh, even Gaylord is looking uh, to try to win the Big North to finish out the year. Yeah so Petoskey comes in with uh, a solid solid team a lot of size. Um, they will be uh, quite a bit taller than the Vikings out there. Vikings are going to have to board well. Talking with the uh, coach before the game, he said, yeah, we uh, we definitely have to be strong on the boards tonight. Yep. And uh, talking with Petoskey's coaching staff, they said that's one of, been one of their strengths all year is, is board play. Yep, and you know, a lot of times they think of the big centers or forwards as, as ones that have to take care of it, but it's a team effort to rebound well. And uh, Cadillac has some good guards that can jump well and Hopefully they can get in position to get some rebounds tonight and help the big guys out. Okay, everybody, we are just a couple seconds away from tonight's national anthem. I hope you enjoy that, and then Jason and I will be right back afterwards. So that was Cadillac's Lisa McLaurin singing tonight's national anthem. She yep. does a fantastic job as always. Always, every time she sings, it's it's a treat. So Jason, do you want to do the uh, starting lineups here for the Petoskey Northmen? Yeah, they are starting with a senior, number three, Seth Mann. At the other guard is a senior, number five, Colin Kingma. Number 34, Danny Cope. Number 14 is uh, Joel Wilson. He's a 6'5 senior. And finally, number 44, Jake Lee is a 6'5 senior. Coach Starkey, you know, that's uh, pretty much been his starting five all season long. He said that's kind of not been the way the norm's been for him, but this year that group's uh, been very leaderly. So now for the Vikings, coached by Coach Ryan Bensonberg. We've got a senior wearing number two, number two, excuse me, that is Keegan Brooks. He is 6'3. We've got another senior, six foot one, Cooper Benson, playing guard, wearing number three tonight. We've got a sophomore, six foot tall. Wearing number 34, and that is Tip Baker. Another senior Viking starter tonight. Wearing number 21 is Vinny Genema. He is 6'2". 
And uh, the final Viking starter is six foot four senior Jacob Kahani, and he is wearing number 50. Um, our officials tonight, everybody, we've got uh, a pretty veteran crew, crew here with Ron Thompson. We've got Mark Holland and Kyle Hondorp. They'll be uh, doing their duties out on the floor for us tonight. Yeah, so Cadillac comes out and definitely undersized, but um, you know that that doesn't mean everything in, in high school basketball. As long as you box out and put a body on somebody, then uh, the Vikings are, are a pretty athletic group. Uh, you know, they leap well. They're quick off their feet. Um, Petoskey's size may not bother them too much. So, Kingma with the ball. He sends it across court. Comes back to number 34. That's Kolp. Back to Kingma. That shot is off, and that's controlled by Baker right there. He finds Brooks. Brooks with a quick two, three-point shot is a little bit off. Looks like it went off of Kolpa. So Keegan's going to inbound the ball. Cooper with a long three. That one is off. That hit something up above and went out of bounds. So the Vikings, uh, two three-point baskets attempts, missed them both. Petoskey with about a 12-foot jumper. They missed that. Back comes Petoskey here with the ball. That's Joel Wilson. Kicks over to Seth Mann. That's a deflected pass in there. Looks like Cadillac wants to sag down and help on, uh, on 34, Culp. So this is a 1-2-2 two, two zone that we're seeing out of Petoskey. Vikings do a nice job kicking it inside. Unable to find the shot in there. Kahani in the corner. He's looking over. This is Baker with the ball and over to Benson. Inside to Keegan Brooks. He goes in. A nice strong move, just unable to finish. Jason? Yeah, you know, that's what they have to do against the zone is get the ball in the middle and and uh, probably even more important than that is getting back on defense. Jacob Lee with the first two points of the game for Petoskey. <clears throat> You know, Cadillac has beat the zone a couple times and got the ball there, but Petoskey's just so long and big that they can't take it up as easy as they could on a normal team. Now they seem to be finding the inside of this pretty easily. They're doing a nice job right now, Jason, moving the ball around the outside, looking for uh, that breakdown in Petoskey's defense. Well, Make. it's going to take some penetrating and, and some finding a window to some zones just like that, mm -hmm. making your layups. Block shot inside right there. I'm not sure who got that, but we'll give that to Dan Culp, number 34. Vikings do maintain control. Another good look, Jacob Kahani with a nice, nice uh, strong move to the basket, just rolled off the rim. Yep, once they get it inside, uh, once they get it inside to uh, Keegan at the elbow, he can find some people. We just gotta finish. Loose ball on the floor is picked up by Kahani. Looked like Joel Wilson missed that shot inside. He's had two pretty good looks. He's missed them both. So it's 2 nothing with about two and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Yeah, Kalex had some good opportunities to get in there. Three pretty close shots. Keegan Brooks drains a three. I think that was Tip, actually. Oh, you're right. That was Tip Baker wearing number 34 out there. Keegan had the assist on it. Cool so off. I think we got a moving screen right there. Yeah, offensive foul on number 34. Three. Nope, number three. Number three, yep. So Seth Mann with his first foul of the game. He comes in uh, averaging quite a bunch of points along with Colt. Um, between the two of them, about 30 total. Aiden Raphael checks in for Jake Kohani right now, gives him a well deserved break. Baker with the ball. He finds Brooks, he steps out to the three-point line, drains a three. Six quick points for the Viking at the five-minute mark. They lead 6-2. That's one way to get their zone to come extend a little bit is to hit some threes. Now 
That's man. He kicks it over inside to Joel Wilson. And be a before foul. that, we got a little foul. Yep. Uh, loose ball foul on Aiden Raphael before the before the shot went up. So Wilson's going to take it inbounds here. Toski sets up their play. Ball swings around the outside. A quick three-point shot is off. But Seth Mann tips that in for his first two points of the game. Yeah, you can see in their 1-2-2 zone, the middle is, is, is really open, and they, they're hoping that if they get it any breakdown, their big guys can, can take it from them. We got a jump ball call there. That's probably a good call on that. And Possession Cat arrow will be the Vikings yep. ball. That's important uh, against that zone is to just not bring the ball down on those big guys to keep it up and be strong with it. Keegan Brooks is going to inbound it here for the Vikings. He finds Benson. Comes up to Baker. Vikings get in their offensive set. Baker with a good shot attempt is a little bit off. That ball's controlled by Kingma. He's bringing it down the floor right here. Kicks it over to Wilson. Crosses it all the way to Mann. He's being guarded by Vinny Genema. Comes back up to Kingma. Once again, Wilson inside. I think we got a, no, we got a foul out there. Looked like a walk on my side, but we've got a foul called up top there. I think it's gonna be on Cooper Benson. That's his first, and uh, Kel Mixon will check in the game. So you are watching high school basketball here on 26 Sports and CCTV. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Jason uh, Main up here with me. I'm Dan Gusser from Cadillac, Cadillac High School. Yeah, Cadillac's playing a pretty strong man-to-man uh, -man defense here. Good steal by Kale there. Comes Baker with the ball. Kicks it inside to Brooks. Petoskey gets a bunch of hands on that and maintains control. You're watching Dan Culp come down the floor with it. And that is at least the third attempt inside by Joel Wilson. I think he's 0 for 3 in there, Jason. Yeah, he keeps getting that shot. He might end up with a bunch of points here tonight. Yep. Cadillac, uh, Cadillac has a couple turnovers right now, and they will... Uh they will try to not do that against this zone because if they do and don't get a shot off, it would be a long night. Kind of like being very patient here as we are at 2.40 to go. They are up 6-4. Good pass there out of Raphael. Benson's three-point shot's a little bit off. And Jacob Lee with another big rebound. And back comes Petoskey. This is Mann. He's cut off nicely right down there by Keegan Brooks. Wilson with the ball at the three-point line. He finds Jacob Lee, and his shot is off, but he draws a foul here. Looks like third-team foul on the Vikings. Yep, it's going to be a foul on Aiden Raphael. It's actually his second. Two quick fouls for him. So Jacob Lee's going to step the line. He's going to shoot two. Checking in the game is going to be number five, Maddox Hoagland. He's had, uh, he's had a couple good games this year where, you know, he got hot from the three-point line, and he's pretty crafty with the basketball too, so they'll, they'll hopefully utilize him against his own. Jacob Lee is a six-foot, five-inch senior. He's one for one. He now has three points for the game. And that one rattles around and falls in. Give him four now. Petoskey doesn't want to press or anything. They just want to hustle back, get into their zone, and hopefully force Cadillac to make some mistakes. This is Baker with the ball, and he sends it over to Maddox Hoagland, and it goes over to Keegan Brooks. Kale Mickelson with a good strong move in there. And Raphael gets a big rebound and put back. Yeah, that's a big one. And you know the best thing about that is he got it up quick. He got it up quick <laughs> before the long arms of Petoskey could get up there and uh, shoo that away. Yeah. 
Three we got seconds. a three second yeah. call. Looks like uh, Jacob Lee camped out a little too long in there. Jason, while we get some subs in here, we're gonna mention our uh, sponsors. Yeah, we have uh, our some usual ones and a new one tonight. Cadillac Castings is starting off our sponsor list with Cadillac Tire, Napa, um, Pizza Plus, and adding to the list tonight is Assist to Sell. Excellent, welcome, with, welcome to them and appreciate all of those sponsors helping us out this year. Baker's gonna kick it outside to Mickelson. His three point shot is off, but Baker gets a rebound. We are just over a minute to go here in first quarter action. The Vikings leading 8-6. Hoagland with another kick right back to Mickelson. 0 for 2 from that spot. You know, that's He's all a right. pretty those good looking are, shooter though. Yeah, I, I can see him making those more than not. Those are good looks and once you get it in, kind of an inside out game. Um, Cadillac starts making some of those threes, they'll be in good shape. Jake Kohani set to check back in. Okay, this is Seth Mann for Petoskey. He's looking it over, kicks it over to Whitmore. Whitmore steps back a little bit. He finds Dan Culp and he traveled as he uh, attacked the basket. So Kohani checks back in and with 30 seconds left, uh, Cadillac is up eight to six. Baker's going to take his time bringing the ball down the floor. Vikings going to probably hold for one last shot yep. here, you would think. No need or to. Or first good shot. No need to force it and give Petoskey an extra possession. But if they get a good one, they'll take it. So with about 10 to go, they get into their set. And Kahani wasn't ready for that pass. 9.6 to go. The Vikings are going to pick up a little bit here. Slow Petoskey down. It looks like... Uh, Gabe Whitmore is going to get this inbounds pass. Guarded by Hoagland. Good defense by Maddox there. That's Mann with a long three-pointer that is off. And that's the way our quarter is going to end with uh, the Cadillac Vikings leading 8-6. to six. You are watching uh, boys basketball here on 26 Sports and CCTV, and we'll be right back. 